this video i'm going to talk about what happens when you have saturn in the fifth house in the navamsha chart if you want to take personal reading you can check the website uh, so let's get started so let's start uh, navamsha chart is a very important chart it tells you about your life after marriage it also tells you about your second half of your life and your karmas and also it helps to understand your soul purpose and your true higher self so let's restart fifth house is a very important house of the navamsha chart fifth house is the house of your good deeds that will lead you towards marriage it also shows the deeds of the past life because of which you will get married so depending upon the planets your deeds can be good the deeds can be bad and also it's the house of your relationship with children and childbirth and your romance after marriage your creativity after marriage your desire of education after marriage so these things now you have saturn here so as this is the originally the house of sun and saturn is the enemy of sun so saturn's placement in the fifth house in the navamsha chart is a neutral placement but every placement has some deeper meaning so first of all saturn here in the fifth house will make you very serious in life you will take life very seriously and that will be because of your life experiences because this is in the navamsha chart so as you grow older you will become serious in life now let's say you have venus in the 5th uh, house in the birth but have saturn in the 5th uh, house in the d9 so you will become very serious about love you uh, you will not be like uh, your love language will become very serious okay you will prefer committed and loyal relationships you will be like even if your partner is not giving you gifts or not taking you on dates or not expressing much love but is at least serious with you at least committed with you and is showing you love by his actions not by his words or her words like you you will prefer a partner who stands with you in tough situations a partner who doesn't cheat on you a partner who has time for you and shows you real care and real emotions rather than giving you that romantic words rather than giving you romantic gifts you will be like partner should be serious okay and you you will also be like that you you will also not be that i should give lots of gifts to my partner or i should dedicate romantic songs to my partner or that fairy tale kind of romance no you will also become very serious in life you will be like love love is about understanding each other love is about being with each other in tough situations and being committed towards each other that is love love is not a fairy tale or a movie romance so that your mindset will become after marriage or in the second half of life this also shows that you will put a lot of efforts to make your marriage work somewhere but one thing you need to understand that you should only put efforts in a relationship where uh, you see other person is interested in you when you see other person person is not showing any interest then putting unnecessary efforts should be avoided should be avoided okay this you should learn but saturn in the fifth house fifth house is the house of uh, creativity so you will also become very serious about your creativity it it's also possible because saturn is a non creative planet it's also possible because of your duties responsibilities your work pressure you are not able to focus on your uh, creative skills creative talents so this is also possible but if other placements are supporting then you will become serious about your creativity 
uh, depending upon the sign depending upon venus you can become serious about creativity also like some people have creative talent but they don't take it seriously that much but saturn here can make you serious about your creative skills that uh, if you have any creative talent you should use it for earning money you should use it for like making your life better or uh, use it for your soul purpose so that can also happen but mostly uh, you may not get time to focus on your uh, talent and skill because of your responsibilities okay this also shows some karma with your children a duty a pending karma especially if it's retrograde uh, it shows a pending karma with children responsibility towards children will be high it also shows that you will you can become reserved or less expressive because uh, uh, fifth house is the house of expression so less expressive of your emotions and um, uh, kind of sh you can become shy of shy nature and may not want to come in public or may not want to express much love to your partner you can also become non-romantic so this is also possible that lack of interest in romance no interest in romance this is also possible and if your partner is romantic then it can become contradictory for you so depending upon your uh, partner you should learn to be romantic with your partner especially if you are a male you should be romantic to your wife okay to make the marriage work because women uh, love the man who are romantic and mostly women need romance so if you are a man and you are not romantic you feel like that you you after marriage you should try to be little romantic with your partner okay so saturn from here aspects your 11th house so your karma is also towards social work towards network circles towards networking or large organizations so you can do any kind of work that is related to public dealing or large organizations or networking dealing with people social work this can be involved but it can also do is restrict your friend circle means you will only keep uh, some few people with whom your energy resonates you will keep only those people in your network in your network circle so this also you will become very strict about the people you interact with and how you deal with people in your social life so you will become strict about your social life and you will only focus on your work rather than focusing on uh, and uh, like doing friendship with people all the time so that will not be your concern okay saturn from here also aspects your second house so it shows karma towards family and you will use your creativity and self-expression your uh, skills and talent to manage your finances very well you should focus on your diet your uh, food habits also a lot okay and you will save money you will manage your finances well you will become very strict about your finances and you will become very much responsible about your family about your wealth you will not take it lightly now fifth house also shows your past life karmas of marriage or basically what your karmas were so as we know saturn planet is the pl is the sole planet of karma it shows past life karmic debts we know the nature of saturn so if this saturn is retrograde you have pending karmas pending karmic lessons to be fulfilled in this life if this saturn is in the friendly sign exalted sign you have good karmas if this is in the uh, enemy sign you bring bad karmas if this is in uh, neutral sign then your karmas are mixed good and bad 
so if this is in the uh, enemy sign that does not totally mean that uh, you have bad karmas it does not mean that but it only means that some you have some karmic debts to be paid okay so this you need to remember properly so saturn in the fifth house will come with lots of teachings and lessons and it's also possible for some of the people that they may not be interested in getting married at all they will not be interested in love romance at all but saturn's aspect on the seventh house the third aspect which is the aspect of self efforts which shows you will put efforts in your marriage you will you will put efforts to get married depending upon other placements if you will be interested in marriage uh, if you will want to get married then you will put efforts okay it also shows that uh, because of your uh, some experiences of your past in this life only regarding love and romance if you have got such experience then in the second half of life you will approach love with caution and you you may also fear or you may not want to invest in another person or you may not want to love so your desire like uh, to love may become very dry you will become very dry about, about romance if you have got um, bad experience in the past uh, about love got cheated or you got like uh, unrequited love or whatever if you have bad experience about love life then in the second half of life you will become very cautious about love you will be like i'm done and uh, i don't want to risk my love i don't want to risk my heart i'm not going to uh, put much efforts for any person to express my love all the time i will not do it at all i i will even if i'm in a relationship i will put minimal efforts for the person because whenever i overdo for someone whenever i express my love or do something for someone what i get in in return is broken heart so that will your um, will be your mindset in the second half of life so even possible you may be very much romantic but because of the bad experiences because of the fear you will not much express it to your partner okay so this is possible and somewhere it is true uh you should see if other person is loyal towards you or good person before you give your heart to someone it is better to know everything about that person so somewhere it is good rather than risking your heart so saturn here will also protect you from broken heart so this is a blessing also it's going to protect you from broken heart it's better than rahu at least saturn protects you from getting broken heart so overall this is a good placement rest depends upon how your fifth lord is placed where it is placed is it strong or not saturn is in good sign or not saturn is with friends or getting the aspect or conjunction with benefics or not not that will make a difference so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you take care bye